Being a star seller on Etsy is more beneficial now than ever before. But if you are not a star seller yet and you're having troubles getting there, I want to share my top tips to guarantee that you get star seller every single month. Being a star seller on Etsy not only gives your store some credibility and some trust because people can actually see these badges on your storefront and even when they are scrolling on the search page to tell them that you are actually a great seller, but Etsy has introduced some additional perks in 2022, which makes being a star seller more, more beneficial than ever. As of late 2022, I believe October 2022, so just a month ago, Etsy announced live chat support for star sellers. This is huge. If you have been selling on Etsy for a while, you know how hard it is to get a hold of Etsy support. Live chat was pretty much non-existent. Getting support from them took forever. Even, even finding the email to reach out to them was a hassle. So this introduction to Etsy live chat support is a game changer and it is only available to star sellers. And to see the live chat, you do have to be on your desktop account. Keep in mind, this is not my print on demand store. This is my teaching store, but I also have star seller on this account. So on desktop, just go on over to your store, your store settings, star seller, and it is a little hidden, but right down here in the corner is where you can access the brand new live chat support. So the three criteria to getting a star seller is reviews. You need at least a 4.8 star average review. You need at least 95% of dispatching your products on time. These are the production times set by you in your delivery settings. And then your message response rate also needs to be 95% answering to people within the first 24 hours of when they messaged you. And then you do also need at least five sales in that month, equaling to at least 300 USD. So I have tips for all three of these. So let's start with reviews and how you can maximize getting five star reviews. People leave review for things when they are extremely happy or extremely displeased. More often when they are displeased, which does cause an issue of you are going to hear mostly back from the people who are upset with you, more so than the people that were happy or just content with the order that they got. So we want to Make sure that the people we are not hearing from, and we're probably not hearing from them because they're happy, we want to get their feedback. So what I like to do is at least once a week on Etsy, I will navigate to my completed orders, then go down to the ones that are delivered, and I will send people this message. Every time I send out this message, I get an influx of five-star reviews. I never get negative reviews from these at all because now you started to chat with them. So if they were unhappy, they will let you know in the chat. But I literally, every time I reach out, it is just five-star reviews and people are extra happy that you are checking in on them. So I've had multiple five-star reviews also stating the seller cared about me and sent me a follow-up message to make sure I was happy. This was a game changer for my reviews and brought a four-star up all the way to a five star. And I could say probably 99% of my reviews now are all just five star reviews. Then for dispatch date, did you know it's not actually a set dispatch date? Yes, you did create a production time within your delivery settings. So say you said you needed five days to do production on this, but the fifth day has arrived and you are not done. Something happened that week that you are not able to deliver this, or maybe you're working with a print on demand supplier and they're running behind. You don't want to just let this date pass because this will knock down your seller rating for the dispatch date. So what you are going to do is you're going to go into that order the day before it is supposed to dispatch or the day of, do not let that date pass. And right beside complete order, you're going to see the button that says more options. You're going to click that and then you're going to click update dispatch by date and you're going to add a few days to it. 
And then you should probably include a little note. It gives you an option to include a note there to your customer, just letting them know why you had to wait a few extra days. If you were doing print on demand, I usually just say that I was waiting for an extra batch of stock to come in and I've never had an issue with that. People understand. And then because now the customer knows about the dispatch date, this will not go against your star seller rating. And then the final piece to the trio of star seller is responding to customers within 24 hours of the messaging you. So I have two tips for you in this area of how to make sure you have a hundred percent response rate for your customers. The first one is turning on your auto responder on days that you are not active on Etsy, say on weekends. You can turn on autoresponder and Etsy has stated in a, in a help article that auto responses count towards your message reply rate. You can only turn these on for right now, like five days max. So I wouldn't say have this as your catch all and always have an autoresponder on. Also, that's just not great customer service. I would just do those on days that you are not able to get to your computer within 24 hours. If you're taking a little trip, a little vacation, turn that on. And also as of October, 2022, Etsy introduced a new weekly auto reply. So instead of just having that five day responder on, say for vacations, for your weekly responder, you can also set the times that you are online on Etsy. So say you're online only nine to five, Monday to Friday, you can have it turned off then, but outside of those hours, you can turn on the auto reply and just let people know what your hours are when you're working so that they know when they can expect a reply from you so that they're not constantly following up. And again, this also will count towards answering messages. So turning these on will guarantee you majorly pass that message responder star rating. Just letting you know that any message you ever get in your inbox counts towards this reply rate. Even if this has nothing to do with customer service, if someone on Etsy messaged you asking you for a review, or if it was some spam, or if it was maybe an influencer asking if they could get free product, literally any message counts. So you want to make sure that you're either answering to these or another option, if, you, if the, this is a message that you do not want to respond to, is hitting mark as spam. Marking as spam removes the message from being counted towards your star seller rating. Implementing these four tips has been a game changer for me. And since I've got my star seller within like a month or two of actually starting my store, I pretty much have almost 100% in all three areas and I have never even come close to losing my star, star seller badge. And I honestly believe if everyone implemented these, there is no way that you would lose your star seller. If you guys weren't doing any of these before, implement them and just let me know how that turns out. And if you learned anything new from this video, please let me know in the comments below. I love to hear what I've actually helped people with. It makes me really motivated to make more of these videos. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys.